Hey, Rebel Chefs, this is the year you cook the perfect holiday bird. Juicy, moist, tender. Those are not the words I remember from eating turkey growing up. But it doesn't have to be that way. It's as simple as four things. You wanna source a great organic bird. You wanna use salt and pepper? You wanna cook it to 165? Let it take a nice 30 minute nap. The resting is the key to restitution for juiciness. That's when it all reabsorbs. So you get the bird, and you'll notice when you get a great organic bird, the breasts are gonna be smaller in proportion to the legs. That way you're getting flavor, they've been raised well, they've eaten good food, and they're gonna be delicious. When you get the bird, you're gonna wanna let it thaw out. Typically, it's about five pounds every 24 hours, so if you got a 15 pound bird, put it in the fridge for about three days. Rebel hack, you wanna get the skin even crispier, after it's thawed, dry it off, leave it in the roasting pan uncovered in the fridge, and that gives you a really crispy skin. So when you get your bird, you're gonna check it out. It looks beautiful, it's thawed out, it's padded dry. You're gonna reach in here and find the goodies. All right, these are all the innards that come with it. You can just toss those unless you got a special recipe for those. And then I you know, wanna make sure it's rinsed out if there's any extra blood or anything, it's looking good. So we've got the bird cleaned out, emptied out, ready to go. I'm gonna transfer that to the cutting board. So first thing we're gonna do is rub the butter on it, right? So you wanna have some room temperature butter, that way it spreads easily. All right, and just start slathering that around. And this is what's obviously gonna help it get crispy in the oven as it goes. So you just give it a nice full body massage. And then Rebel Hack, we don't need to just put seasoning on the outside, right? Because the meat is on the inside. So you're gonna go right here to the front of the cavity. You're gonna see where the skin ends and just take your finger and create a little gap like this. All we're doing is creating a little gap gently. Don't do it too hard to where you'll tear the skin. And you're not gonna get all the way to the back, that's okay. You can go up from this side and slide in here a little bit as well. Now we're gonna take that butter and it just slides everywhere with little effort. All right, so we're gonna go up in here. I've got the oven set at 350. This is not where you want high heat because the bird will dry out. 350 is perfect, okay? Evenly coated, get the wings as well. So we're gonna grab our kosher salt. Again, I love kosher because you can see it, you can feel it. Lift it up like this and get a little bit inside as well. And I'm shaking back and forth so it hits the top, hits the bottom, gets on the side. And remember, we're not adding salt for the sake of salt, we're adding salt to get more turkey flavor. It's gonna bring out the flavor of the bird. Same thing with the pepper. All right, so get it evenly coated on the outside. You can use white pepper, it has a little bit of a hotter, clean pepper flavor. You can use black pepper, whatever you like. All right, so you bought a great bird. You've seasoned it perfectly. You've added your butter. Now it just needs a little tying up, all right? One piece of string, we're just gonna tie the legs together. We're tying it because by keeping the legs against the breast, it's gonna protect the breast and you're gonna get even cooking. If the legs are open, the breast is gonna dry out, the legs won't be cooked yet. So you want those legs tied together, it'll cook beautifully. All you're doing is just wrap it around once, twice, tie a bow, tie a knot, whatever you like. Rebel hack, you got the wings, no need to tie up this whole bird. You'll see processes where this thing is wrapped every which way. All you have to do is take the wing towards the bird, slide it right underneath. There's two reasons you do this. One, it helps even cooking. Two, these now become your kickstands when it's time to carve the bird, which you'll see in the carving video. Okay, we're gonna grab our roasting pan. You're gonna take the bird, you're gonna put it breast side up, and this is a perfect fit. And why do we put it on a rack? Because you want surround sound cooking going on. Right now the air is gonna flow under the bird, around the bird, all over, and it won't be sitting in its juices. Okay, into the oven, 350, and we'll wait till it hits 165. So you don't wanna keep opening that oven every 15 minutes. First of all, it's gonna ruin your whole look. You're gonna be sweaty, your hair's gonna be a mess. Second of all, it's not gonna cook because you're letting all the heat out of the oven. So trust me, I'm with you on this one. Wait till an hour and a half, give it one turn. At two, two and a half hours, give it the first poke. Check out the temperature, it'll probably be somewhere in the 40s, 140 range. 165, it's done. 